Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some extreme spring cleaning. And I'm gonna show you guys the areas that we're gonna get clean. Um, we're just gonna deep clean a few areas in my home. I'm gonna break it up into sections. So this video may be two parts or three parts, but I'm gonna give you guys some of that motivation to get all your areas clean, decluttered, and organized in your house. And then another thing, this isn't gonna be a spring cleaning series where we are going out. Yes, you see a pillow on the floor. We just woke up a little bit ago. Um, this isn't gonna be a spring cleaning series where you go out, where you go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on all new products. I'm gonna use the stuff that I already have in place. I already have a few organizational systems in place that are super affordable. I'm just gonna declutter those and clean those areas. Staying organized, staying clutter free is not about spending thousands of dollars to buy new systems. Some people do that because they have the means and the money to. I develop systems and I yearly or quarterly or whatever go through those systems and um, reorganize and clean them so that they can be maintained. And that's what this channel is about and that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. guys as you saw we started in Brooklyn's room I um, got the diapers and bagged them up because I was donating them to the younger classrooms at her school um, she is not in diapers at all not even during nap time anymore or at uh, night and they have been sitting here for a couple months so I just need to get rid of them but um, I am organizing some of her other things to make room for more room for books on her little shelves um, also, you're going to see I'm going to go through all of her drawers and her clothing and um, donate things that are too small or just items that we are not using. Um, I try in my heart. I would love to be a minimalist, but I am just not. But I do try to go through our, three, our things quite frequently and just give away things and donate things that we are no longer using. And then I try not to just buy a bunch of stuff, but... As you can see, I'm not a minimalist, but I really would love to be.
I was just going through and picking out the ones, the spring type ones, so I could put them downstairs in her little play area. So these are the books that I've traded to go in here. We still have this setup and then this setup of those books. And then I have some room to add some more. And then I brought down the spring books that I was gonna bring downstairs. So this goes back. I just cover it with this. Sometimes books can be messy. And there we go. <laughs> to give away. I just needed to give 
just go through the clothes, give them a little once over, and then just give everything a really good wipe down. Um, like I said, we got rid of a lot of clothes that didn't fit not too long ago, so um, we were in pretty good shape with that. I want to know down below, what do you guys do for spring cleaning um, at your house? What are your must-do things that you do um, on your little spring cleaning checklist? I probably, every time the seasons change, I, I like to go through and do spring cleaning, winter cleaning, fall cleaning, just a good thorough cleaning when my seasons change, like doing stuff that I never do, washing the walls. Like I, Unless there, somebody spilled something on the walls, I typically don't go over and start wiping down the walls. So when the seasons change, I like to do those sorts of things. I wanna know what you guys like to do. Leave that down in the comments below. showing you how um, I just threw out a few things and this is how everything is organized in their bathroom. Brooklyn 99% of the time showers and uses the bathroom in our bathroom or uses the bathroom that is downstairs. She rarely ever uses this one so it's mostly my son's. But now we're down to the play area and we are going to clean and tidy that up as well. Um, I like to do this spring cleaning i also like to do this right before christmas because she gets a ton of stuff but um it just needed to be gone through and it's so funny every time i deep clean her toys she plays with different stuff that she hasn't played with in forever so i love doing this because she can rediscover toys that she's always had and they're just clean and orderly
love it so much. And you're going to see later on in the video, I'm going to go over. We have lots of white things in our house. If you have white stuff in your house, you need the magic eraser in your life. And you're going to see that I'm going to go over everything with it. It just gives it a shine. It takes all the stuff marks. It's just perfect. But I was so happy to get that art area clean. It was so ratchet and dirty. But um, she just had so much junk in there and she couldn't even like really play with the items over there. But now everything, it still looks full, but everything is organized and she can see everything and trust me, she's playing better already. Thank everybody for watching this video. I am so tired and exhausted um, from cleaning. As you guys saw, I did the kids' um, main, their closets, their dresser drawers. I wiped down their doors. I did their baseboards. I did underneath my kids' sink. Um, everybody's walking by. That's why you guys see shadows. Um, I did underneath my kids' sink. I did the toy area downstairs and yeah i'm tired i'm done um my next one will probably do the be the kitchen and that's a feat in itself so that would be the kitchen and then probably our master bedroom and that will be it we do need to do the garage but typically we do that as a family there is brookie um, she's grabbing her chair, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's Brooklyn's thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.